Cassie Randolph was asked and declined to join Colton's Netflix docu-series following him coming out as gay. Hey guys, and welcome back to another shared news. We have everything you need to know about the docu-series. I watched it all, but before we get into it, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future updates. As always, I am your host, Zachary Reality and Bachelor expert, and Cassie has turned down the opportunity to appear on Colton's docu-series. Duh, that was my first reaction when I read this headline. Like, obviously. Um, I think that that's his story that's all about his Netflix show is about like his coming out story and if Cassie was to come in that I mean it wouldn't make sense for her because if she ever wants to openly talk about her side of the story with Colton and share her experiences like it should not be on his show where he's the executive producer and he's in charge of like his show like she has her own story to tell and i just don't think it would be appropriate for her nor would she want to especially after all of the trauma that he has caused her and her family and what he has put her through so of course she did not want to do that no matter how big the check is it really doesn't matter she sh definitely i support her decision i want not wanting to join that i'm honestly surprised that they even asked um, I think that it was just like really sticky and awkward to even ask her to be a part of that. I almost feel like she was like, excuse me, like what? No, I don't want to be there. I'm not sure what the updates are. I know she ended up dropping the restraining order, so maybe they're allowed to be near each other again. But it, I mean, because she could have filmed a scene, for example, like without him or just like kind of like a little like Skype. And but why does she want to do that? Like literally. She definitely does not want to do that at all. And I definitely understand and you know support her for wanting to stay as far away from him and all of the headlines and all of the drama as possible because of what she's been through. So I did watch Colton's documentary. So it's a six part series on Netflix. There's six episodes. And I can assure you that the entire show was not about Cassie. Most of it was about Colton coming out of the closet, his journey, him telling his parents, him telling his coaches, his, him telling his friends, him meeting other gay men for the first time and getting comfortable being around the gay scene. It was also about him getting educated by, you know, the gay people that came before him in the NFL and just in, in history that, you know, didn't have the privilege that he had. And um, it was a, it was a very deep and heavy, you know, six part series. There was a lot of fun. There was, you know, some bachelor gossip there um, in regards to other situations besides Cassie. But um, it was about so much more than that. But we do have to talk about the Cassie of it all because I know that's what everyone is wondering since a lot of you guys do not want to watch the docu-series because of Colton's past. And that is understandable. Um, I totally get that. And I can assure you that Colton was definitely held to the fire. They, um, him and Cassie have mutual friends, two gay guys who came in to film a scene with Colton and they definitely held Colton accountable. Um, one of the friends said, what you put Cassie through was BS and there was no excuse. And he really, you know, lit that fire under Colton's belt. And even his family and his father and his mom and all of his friends in his life really, you know, like made sure to hold Colton accountable and let him know that there was no excuse for what he did, no matter how hard he was chasing being straight. It, there was just no excuse for what he did to Cassie and um, he definitely took full ownership and he owned up to it and he said that he had no one to blame but himself and when it was interesting because there was this one conversation he had with the lady at his new church because he actually had to leave his church because they were not accepting of him in Denver and now he's at a new LGBTQ friendly church and one of them one of the ladies said um, the priest or the pastor she basically told Colton that in order for him to make things right or to make up for it, the best thing he can do is to stop worrying about Cassie, stop trying to control the narrative, stop trying to control anything and just figure out who he is and just stop projecting his problems onto other people. And I think that's what Colton was doing for so many years as he was trying to hide the secret of him being in the closet. And it really started to affect other people. And that is kind of where he explained on why he ended up coming out because he knew that once he hit rock bottom and Cassie got that restraining order against him, he actually said that it was one of the happiest days of his life because that day when he truly hit rock bottom is when he finally was forced to accept like, the reason I did this is because I was gay and I was trying to hide it. And um, that was just like a relief for him. So that was the day he actually came out to himself and just accepted it. And then it was kind of slow moving steps towards coming out to everyone else. So like I said, the series was not about Cassie. She was really only mentioned in, you know, the first episode and then a little bit towards the end when Cassie's friends came in. 
And um, I think Colton did the best he could to kind of address the situation and hold himself accountable. His, he, I'm glad that he has friends and family around who are supportive of him and who are helping him come out of the closet because it was interesting to watch. You know, Colton is 29 years old and you know, I obviously don't know you know, people in the Midwest that are gay. And I, I know a lot of my friends who are gay and just a lot of people who live in Los Angeles and New York where I'm from who are gay. And you know, most of us definitely come out in this generation a lot younger than 29. You know, I personally, you know, came out to my parents at 15 and then, you know, friends when I was like 18. And that seemed to be a lot of the case with a lot of more people in my age group. So I, it was actually very, um, it was just really sad to watch a 29 year old. Um, and I can't even imagine people in the past who didn't come out till 30 or 40 or 50. But it was really just sad to watch someone live so much of their adult life in the closet and hiding this secret. And you can tell how awkward he was when he was coming out to each person individually. You can tell how awkward he was when he was around a drag queen for the first time and when he went into a sex shop for the first time. And even his friend Gus, who I love. You guys, if you're gonna watch the series, at least watch for Gus. I mean, Gus is his confidant. Gus is somebody who is also gay and, and, and is an athlete. He is an Olympic skier, and he has been helping Colton throughout the entire series, kind of show him the ropes, get him comfortable, introduce him to gay men, educate him on his privilege and what it means to be a cis white privileged man with this platform. And I will tell you that Colton got educated by more than just Gus in this series, you know, there was ex NFL players like Michael Sam, who famously came out, you know, over five years ago. And there was this other NFL player too, who was like probably in his seventies, um, who was really telling Colton how fortunate he is because, you know, 20 years ago, you can get fired from a job for being gay and you can get so much more bullied for being gay 20, 30 years ago. So I think it was really important for Colton to understand that and to learn about his privilege and we saw that in, in the show. And I really think that it was well documented. And I think it was, I really enjoyed it, especially as a gay man, because I could relate on so many different kind of aspects because I, you know, of course, you know, it was difficult for me to come out too when I had to come out, but I've been out of the closet for so many years now that it's just like, hey girl, hey. So it was interesting to just see Colton in that environment, just because we're just so used to him on TV as being straight, dating 30 women, being The Bachelor. And it was just, it was just interesting. I really just found it a fascinating television and it was hard to support him because of what he did to Cassie, but I think he did the best he could, as I mentioned, to hold himself accountable. He has, he has good people around him that are holding him accountable and that are teaching him. And I think Colton ultimately wants to do better and find himself. And, um, you know, he's now in a happy relationship with a new guy named Jordan and Cassie is in a happy relationship as well with a new guy named Brighton, who she used to be friends with in the past. If Cassie were to ever speak about the Colton situation, I feel like she would have to do it on her own behalf and her platform. But as I mentioned, I don't think that she wants to do that. I don't think she's ready to do that. I think she's been through so much and she just doesn't want to be attached to this anymore. And I ultimately feel like after Colton's come out of the closet, now his Netflix special is out, I really do feel like now the chapter is finally closed. We know that he's gay. It's not that serious and everyone can live, you know, their happy life. And I really feel like Cassie will not have to be attached to Colton as much anymore now that he has fully addressed everything that he can legally in this docu-series and publicly. So I feel like I'm hoping that Cassie will get a break from this because I feel bad mentioning her. I feel bad that everyone keeps bringing her into this because she does not want anything to do with it. And it was interesting because I did see Cassie at a party last night um, with a bunch of other Bachelor people, some of the girls from Colton season. I'm like, that's a great way to kind of distract yourself and not think about it because it's probably really heavy for her to know that this is going on and that she's being mentioned. And a lot of people from Bachelor Nation, especially from Colton season, were very concerned about seeing how you know the show would represent her. And I can promise you that Cassie definitely got as much justice as she can in this Netflix docu-series. I mean, they're, they're at this point, like all she really wants is for him to stop talking about it. And the majority of the show was truly about him coming out of the closet and coming to terms with himself. And ultimately I am happy for him and I am supportive that he came out of the closet and I'm supportive that he is finally gonna be able to live his life and just be himself. So if you don't wanna watch the Netflix docu-series, I pretty much just told you everything you need to know, but I highly do recommend you guys at least check it out. And if you don't like it, turn it off after an episode. I know it's gonna be cring cringy for a lot of you guys because of the situation. I know some people could be triggered by the situation. So if you don't wanna watch it, that's everything you need to know. If you wanna give it a chance and see, cause I do believe his story can help so many people. Um, regardless of his privilege, I know, but I really do feel like him coming out can help so many people. 
and he does have this platform from The Bachelor. So I think that it was leveraged and I hope that, you know, some people are inspired by this and learn more about LGBTQ history and LGBTQ rights and how important it is. And I think that's kind of the main message we have to take away from this docu-series regardless of his past. So those are my overall thoughts on the docu-series. I really enjoyed watching it. And um, if you guys have watched it, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Um, even the funny parts, I know a lot of parts were heavy, but there was a lot of funny parts. So let me know some of your favorite moments. And if you guys have any more questions about the docu-series because you don't want to watch it, let us know in the comments below as well. And we'll make sure to answer them. And that is everything we have to share with you guys today. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I am your host, Zachary Reality. You guys can follow me down below at Zachary Reality on Instagram, on TikTok. I'm doing more coverage on Colton's story there. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend. And that is everything we have to share. So we will see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.